Although Einstein's special theory of relativity establishes that the ultimate speed limit in the universe is the speed of light, and that no object, no matter what, can reach or exceed this speed, today I'll tell you about a type of subatomic particle called tachyons. If their existence were to be proven, these particles would travel faster than the speed of light itself. Of course, if this were true, it would mean that one of the cornerstones of modern physics, the theory of relativity, is incorrect. We would then need to rewrite everything we know about the structure of the universe and the nature of reality as we understand it. So, join me today as I introduce you to one of the most bizarre scientific concepts you'll ever encounter. Prepare your mind for an astonishing journey across the stars and beyond the boundaries of reality itself. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's dive straight into the topic. When Einstein published his special theory of relativity in the early 20th century and introduced the idea that the speed of light is a universal constant and the ultimate speed limit for everything, objects, data, and even events, he wasn't merely speculating. There was a logical and crucial reason behind this claim. That reason lies in the famous equation derived from the theory of relativity, an equation that anyone with a basic understanding of physics is likely familiar with or has at least heard of. E equals mc squared. This equation succinctly illustrates the relationship between energy, mass, and the speed of light. It tells us that the energy of any object equals its mass multiplied by the square of the speed of light. In simpler terms, energy is directly proportional to the mass of objects. According to this equation, as an object's speed increases, its mass also increases. For instance, if an object traveling at high speed crashes into a concrete wall, it could demolish the wall. However, if the same object collides with the wall at a lower speed, the object itself would be destroyed while the wall remains intact. In our daily lives, we don't perceive the effect of increasing mass with speed because, no matter what we do, the speed of our motion or travel never even comes close to the speed of light. But if we shift the context to outer space and imagine traveling aboard a real spacecraft at a speed close to the speed of light, things would begin to change dramatically. Now, imagine having a spacecraft traveling at 90% of the speed of light. That spacecraft would possess an immense mass, requiring significantly more energy to keep it moving forward. If we assume the spacecraft somehow reached the speed of light, its mass would become infinite, and it would require an infinite amount of energy to move, a scenario that is clearly impossible. This is why the only particles capable of reaching the ultimate speed limit in the universe must be massless, like the photons that make up light. For all objects with mass, the laws of physics dictate that their speed must always remain below the speed of light in a vacuum, which is approximately 300,000 kilometers per second. Even subatomic particles, despite their incredibly small mass, are bound by this rule. So, what does all of this mean for us? Well, you'll understand its significance when I tell you that the speed of light isn't fundamentally related to light itself. Instead, it is tied to causality, the relationship between cause and effect in the universe. Every event must have a cause, and that cause must lead to a specific outcome. Nothing happens without a cause, and every cause must produce a result. For example, if you want to drink a cup of coffee, you first need to prepare the coffee and pour it into a cup. The outcome, drinking the coffee, stems from the cause, which is making and pouring it. You can't drink the coffee before preparing or pouring it. Doing so would violate the laws of causality and disrupt the natural flow of time as we know it. Does that make sense so far? Great! Despite Einstein's theory of special relativity, proving that the speed of light is the ultimate speed limit in the universe and that no object can reach or exceed it. Today, I'm going to tell you about a fascinating type of subatomic particle called tachyons. If their existence were ever proven, it would mean they travel faster 
than light itself. Such a discovery would challenge the very foundations of physics, including relativity, one of the cornerstones of modern science. It would force us to rewrite everything we know about the structure of the universe and the nature of reality itself. These particles would move backward in time and would require infinite energy to slow down to the speed of light. This is the exact opposite of conventional particles, which need infinite energy to accelerate to the speed of light. Physicists have hypothesized the existence of tachyons for some time. If they exist, these particles could fundamentally disrupt not just the laws of physics, but also our perception of time and reality. Here's an example to simplify this. Imagine you and I are in close proximity and want to shake hands. It's easy because the distance is small, and we can interact within the constraints of light speed. However, if you were on a distant planet in another galaxy, it would be impossible for us to physically meet or communicate in just five minutes, because light itself would take millions of years to bridge that distance. Now, suppose we both had devices that used tachyons, particles that travel faster than light, for communication. I could send you a message from my spacecraft, and it would reach you instantly. You could reply immediately, and your response would arrive faster than the speed of light. So far, everything seems fine. But here's the twist. If I used a telescope to observe you, I'd see a 10-year-old image of you, since light from Earth takes that long to reach me. This means your response would reach me before I even saw you receive my initial message. The image I'd see would show events as they happened a decade ago, while your tachyon-powered reply would seemingly arrive from the future. Things get even weirder. Imagine if my device were programmed to explode upon receiving a specific signal from you, and you only send that signal after receiving my message. Here's the paradox. Because tachyons can travel backward in time, your response would reach me before I sent my original message. My device would explode before I even contacted you. This creates a scenario where the effect precedes the cause. Breaking causality. This paradox illustrates why the existence of tachyons would fundamentally alter our understanding of time and reality. The flow of time as we know it would no longer make sense. Events could occur out of order and the linear progression of cause and effect would collapse. Now you can see why tachyons, if proven real, would completely change everything we know about the universe and reality itself. If tachyons were proven to exist, it wouldn't just mean that time is relative. It would suggest that time itself isn't real or fixed. Events could happen without any identifiable causes completely violating the natural order we depend on to make sense of reality. Imagine, for instance, you're sitting right now, watching this video, and suddenly the glass of water next to you shatters. But the reason for it breaking, falling off the table, hasn't happened yet. Instead, it's something that will occur moments later. This concept not only defies human logic, but also contradicts how our brains process understand, and respond to the flow of events. This is precisely why most scientists remain skeptical about the existence of tachyons. They argue that these particles would contradict the very laws governing our universe. However, there's a significant faction of scientists who believe that tachyons could exist. They argue that detecting these particles might help solve some of the greatest mysteries in physics such as the nature of dark energy and dark matter, phenomena whose existence may somehow be tied to tachyons and their influence across time. If tachyons do exist, their effects could extend not just across space, but into the past itself. Until scientists can either prove or detect these particles, they will remain one of the most peculiar and controversial concepts in the realm of theoretical physics. An idea so baffling that it challenges the very essence of human understanding. So, what do you think? Could tachyons truly exist, enabling events to occur faster than light and time itself? Or is this merely a philosophical thought experiment that defies logic and the laws of nature? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.
And if you're passionate about science, particularly physics and astronomy, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more fascinating topics.